Hello everyone and welcome to Esports Unzipped, your hub for all things esports. My name's Cameron Blunt and today I'll be going over everything that happened while we were away, like nerfs and buffs, a tournament that happened at the University of Akron, and the potential for new esports. And boy was there a lot. So to start, nerfs galore. Overwatch saw so many nerfs, it wasn't even funny. To start, Blizzard decided to nerf a character that hasn't been working since the day of his release, and that would be Doomfist. For Brigitte, they keep nerfing her into oblivion, so she is slowly becoming less and less viable, similar to almost every healer in the game. Then they buffed Reaper, a character that sees no play in pro level or collegiate level. For every two points of damage Reaper does with his bullets, he heals one point. This may seem powerful at lower ranks, but at pro and collegiate level, this doesn't make him viable. He has no mobility and his one mobility power takes forever to set off and he yells when he's done teleporting. But moving on from Overwatch, Blizzard also decided to nerf tons of cards in Hearthstone. They first nerfed all the top decks. First, the Druids got hit by making their key cards, Wild Growth and Nourish, cost one more mana. This may not seem like much, but imagine Druids going from turn two, Wild Growth, then turn three, Coin Nourish, and have seven mana crystals to play with on turn four, while your opponent is still only working with their four mana. But in my opinion, this does make the game better. It makes it better to watch, better to play, and better to analyze. Next, the Shaman deck that relied on Infinite Shutterwalk was completely destroyed by the reworking of words on the Serenite Changang card. He now summons another one instead of a copy of himself. This makes Shutterwalk unable to play because he won't make more Shutterwalks, only other Serenite Changangs. Then they changed some other cards that don't have as much as an impact, but do slow games down and make slower decks have more viability. Additionally, now is a great time to start the game, for the competitive scene has completely changed and gone back to the original way. Yep, yeah, that's okay, Blizzard. I didn't grind my way through all the ranks to get where I am today. Hmm. But anyways, the new system is less wins to go up a rank that is required now. Once you hit rank 10, that's when you go back to the five star system to rank up. So that about wraps up nerfs and such. So let's get into the tournament that happened. The University of Akron hosted a fighting game community tournament or FGC tournament for short. This tournament had tons of games like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Dragon Ball Fighters, Street Fighter, and a few others. There was tons of fun and a few prizes to be won. There was over 120 people there, so it was quite the turnout. And there'll be more events to come. No dates announced yet as of recording this video, but there will be another one. Now, you hear me talk about Overwatch, fighting games, Hearthstone, and a few other esports, but prepare yourself for the newest challenger in the esports world, Farming Simulator. The owner of the game has decided to make an esport event in hopes to attract enough attention to make itself an official esport. The event will be going on in Europe, so no chance of me getting to play, but who knows, maybe this will be the next big eSport. So do you guys remember when I started this show up, I talked about how certain games were eSports while others weren't, and I used Magic the Gathering as an example? Well, turns out that Magic got mad at me for saying that and decided to show me up and make an eSport. They built Magic Arena an online Magic the Gathering card game that is free to play, similar to Hearthstone, with a card crafting system similar to Hearthstone as well. They announced that they would be making an eSport event, holding events this year. There is even one happening in Cleveland, Ohio from February 22nd to the 24th. I assume that they will be using these events to judge the interest rate of Magic as an eSport, which I kind of predict to be rival that of Hearthstone for several reasons. Magic's been around for a long, long time and has had an audience for the entire duration. Granted fluctuating from time to time, but nevertheless. Additionally, Magic is much more complicated than Hearthstone, so it opens up for more combos and wacky things to happen, keeping things fresh with each match. But what do you guys think? Will Blizzard keep Overwatch alive or nerf it into Oblivion and shut it down like they did with Heroes of the Storm? Will Magic or Farming Simulator be the next big esport? Why don't you let me know by tweeting me at ZTVGoofingOff and use the hashtag EsportUnzipped. And if this isn't enough esports talk for you, make sure to tune into my esports talk show on 88.1 WZIP every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's even nominated for the best specialty talk show in the country, so I guess that means it's pretty good. But as always, I'm Karen Blunt, I'll see you guys next time.